Good morning, everyone. It is a beautiful Thursday, July the 16th. It's National Personal Chef Day, and it's time for the wise guys and girl. As always, let's get started with Sir and the weather. A lovely Thursday indeed. Currently 24 degrees, working our way up to a high of only 26 today, looking like rain, but the sun will be back tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow. A penne for your thoughts on National Personal Chef Day. This day recognizes the dedication and hard work of personal chefs. A great day to celebrate when you're hungry for laughs. You know, the services a personal chef provides could include preparing meals in the client's homes or delivering them already prepared, a meals on wheels type of thing. They can also create meal plans according to dietary needs or the client's preferences. Clients then can follow the instructions provided by the chef for heating the meals. Some personal chefs offer catering services as well. With their access to great foods and all these amazing spices, chefs are always in season. The days can be long for a personal chef. The strudel is real. But depending on the client, their duties can include shopping, preparation, and cleanup. And some will even add baking to their list of services. And a personal chef, when baking, will always rise to the occasion. It's the yeast that they can do. Well, I didn't know if you knew that if a chef also does a manicure or a pamper chef. <laughs> of course, the personal chef's favorite day. Friday. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Would you, look with that the, would you look at the time? We got to get to our music segment. Pasta La Vista, baby. Let's get to tunes with Tamik. Tamik, what song do we add to our playlist today? So I'm going to give you a little song for maybe for your Friday, you know? Even though it's not Friday yet. I'm going to give you something to prepare for the weekend. And it's another house music song. I love house music my, on my house music bag right now. And it's called Big Fun. Isn't that like a great title for a song? Let's have Big Fun. Big Fun. And it's by a group called Inner City. And I love the first two lines. We don't, you don't really need a crowd to have a party. Just a funky beat and you to get it started. I mean, there we go. Perfect song for quarantine. Flash, we're going into stage. What are we going into? Stage three? I don't even know anymore. Stage, stage, stage. stage three. So, perfect song. You don't need a crowd to have a party. You know, just you and your, I don't know, nine closest friends. I think we're still 10 and under. <laughs> and Microsoft Teams. And Microsoft Teams. And a funky beat. So, you know, take that energy um, from today and take it into the weekend. You don't need to have a crowd to start a party. So, Big Fun by Inner City. That's my pick. Right on. I already feel better. That's great. Thank you. Let's get to Ventures with Venturo. Venturo, what have you got for us today? You know, it's Thursday, so I have some tech for you guys. Um, today, I want to expose everybody to what is called a MOOC. And MOOC is Massive Open Online Courses. And these are free online courses available to anyone to enroll. MOOCs provide an affordable and flexible way to learn new skills, advance your career and deliver quality education experience at scale. So a lot of people all over the world ha are taking MOOCs and some of the reasons are they want to change their careers, they want to prepare for college, they want to supplement their learning, they're just embarking on lifelong learning or they simply just want to get some new training. So students, if you're going on to college and you want to get an idea of what some college courses might look and feel like, you might want to go check out a MOOC. And universities like Harvard and MIT have released several of their courses on these platforms for you to review. So to get started, go check out MOOC.org and you'll find some information there. And then you'll see links to access other online MOOCs as well. So that's it for Ventures with Venturo. Took the high road, the high road of higher yeah. education and advanced learning. Thank you. It's Thursday, time for Thursday's thought. You know, there's a definite connection between this COVID isolation and drinking. And my thought revolves around the old adage, is the glass half filled or half empty? I guess it depends on your last action. If you just took a sip, half empty. You just topped it up, it's half full. <laughs> ah, well done. Good perspective. Finally, an answer to that age-old question. Excellent analysis there. <laughs> 
Have a great Thursday, everyone. We are the wise guys and girl, leaving you smarter and happier than you were yesterday. <laughs>